Now that we have covered all the basic stuff in Laravel, it's time for us to create our first grad application so we can display our students, edit them, delete them, and update our students in our browser. To save the time, I have already created the CSS and HTML part of the project. So this, as you guys can see in here, the students index in here, I only have this CSS and just an HTML page with the table and an input button inside this. So we are going to dis display this view to our users and list all our students in here. So let's go to our route. In here, first thing that we will do is to create a new route and call our controller method. So let's create a new route. So I'm going to create a new route with a prefix of students. Then I'm going to create a group controller. So I will type controller. Then inside here, I will call my student controller colon colon class and I will going to create a group then inside this a callback function and finally inside our callback function we are going to create our gate method for our students and our index these things if you guys have not uh, test we have already covered in previous videos if you have not seen watch those videos first then this so let's continue now let's go to inside our student controller and create our index method in here let's type public function index and inside here you are going to return a view which is located inside our student folder index.blade.php so we will type students.index now, if we visit our students, so let's go. In here, we only have this header, this input button, and the header of our table, nothing else. So, we are going to list all our students in here. Now, for that, let's go back to our controller, student controller. Before returning the view in here, we will create a new variable with the name of, for example, students and set it to students colon colon all. This will fetch all our students. Then I am going to pass this using compact function students. Now, Inside our students.index, inside my table, I will create a table body. So, in here, I will say table body. Then, I will create a for each loop. So, I will type add for each. Then, my variable name that I am sending from the controller, which is, let's copy it from here. Copy and paste after that as dollar sign is student then i will end my for each loop after that inside for each loop then we i will create a tr so i will say tr then inside here first my first column is my id so i will say tb then this curly brackets or oh, I will open this curly brackets and I will use this student pass paste it here then arrow key id now I have to do same for all of them so let's copy this paste change id to name paste again so let's copy our column names then we have email change it to email after email we have age so let's copy the age after the age we have date of birth so same thing we are going to do for date of birth 
after that gender so let's do that also so let's paste it and finally score so score now let's go refresh now our students are here let's add our action buttons as well so in here let's create a new TV to display our action buttons and in here I will create a tag for now I will keep it empty and give it a class of edit button and here edit let's do same for our delete as well change this to delete button and let's delete save let's go back refresh now in here we got uh, the list of all our students in here with the, our action button and our edit button so to display all the your data you will use inside your blade file you will use for each loop then inside this for each loop you will create your tr 